This is my UAV. It's pretty much my own modified version of the Photon from Experimental Airlines. Um, it uses a two inch uh, tubular fuselage and it's a uh, the fuselage is 45 inches long it's 75 percent of the wingspan um i don't know i i, I looked up on uh, online and looked at some of the uh, some of the blogs that other people wrote and they they said that like a good acrobat plane the fuselage should be 75 percent of the wingspan with that um i forget what it was i think it was 20 percent the nose should be sticking out 20 percent i'm not sure i i can't remember what it was but i typed it up on my calculator so i should be nine inches past the nose is nine inches past the wing and uh so we got a five in, five foot wing with a seven inch cord the uh the tail is i can't remember the tail's a five inch cord i can't remember how wide it is it was just some random piece of foam board that i picked up um the uh, control servers are all two inches. I might shorten them up to an inch and a half or an inch, depending on what I after the test flight. I haven't test flown it yet because I took my motor apart after my wreck. After I crashed that, all the electronics came from the FT Mustang that I crashed, and um, there was mud in this, so I took it apart, cleaned out all the mud, and put it back together. But I lost my or the C clip broke in half. It just shattered when I was trying to click it back on. So I'm waiting on one of those to come in the mail before I can actually test fly it. And I have my FPV gear in the back, or the camera in the back, because, um, oh, that's for now. I need to get some extensions, some uh, servo extensions, because it's going to, the FPV uh, 5.8 video transmitter, it's a boss cam, 32 channel, 600 megawatt. It's going to mount up here in the nose. And uh, the uh, power and video line is going to run all the way down. It's going to snake all the way down and come up right here with the, along with the servo wires. And this is going to be, I'm going to try to hide it in real good to where there's no extra drag or nothing like that. And it's going to come up here. And I'm going to have an extra battery right here that fits perfect in here. I don't think it should be too, because this is, I had the exact same stuff in my FT Mustang. Except for that extra battery, I had it running off the actual power, but with this extra wingspan, I think I might be able to get some more lift in it. Uh, if not, it'll it'll work. Um, so yeah, I had the camera mounted way in the back. I hope you can see this on the video. I had the camera mounted way in the back. That way, I can do low proximity flying and get as close as I want to the trees. And I can I can fly in between stuff, and I can see my wing tips, which is real nice. Cause like on the Mustang, I had the camera mounted way in the front, and I couldn't see Jack. All I could see was what was in front of me, but I couldn't see how close I was getting with my plane. So this, I really like this. I can I can fly above the treetops as far as my 5.8 video will let me go and not have to worry about clipping the trees which is awesome um i hope you can see that on the video okay Okay, so there you have it. The uh, let me turn this shit on. Okay, so there you have it. My uh, well, not done. All right, I'll show you the innards. This battery fit right here. And then my FPV battery.
don't know how close I'm getting. All right. Well, here's my sever battery for the FPV. It fits perfect right there. I hope I'm in frame because this is the third time I'm doing this. So, uh, I got my 30 amp speed controller mounted on the outside here. Um, 2200, 3 sub milliamp hour battery. Uh, here's my telemetry. It goes into my balance port. And uh, I don't have telemetry or any on-screen display for my video link, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, I can't afford it. <laughs> uh, I use a FlySky transmitter, which uh, it's a i6 FlySky i6, which is like 50 bucks for the transmitter, and it comes with a receiver, and uh, you can order the telemetry plug for like an extra 10 bucks I think which is a damn good deal um I don't know how long it's gonna last me though but it works pretty good and look how small it is so um the FPV is gonna actually mount right here right it's gonna mount just like this Click that in, and the wires are going to snake right around here and go inside here. And this is the wire for the camera yellow is video, red and brown is power and ground. And it's going to snake all the way down in here out this hole, plug into the camera, and I'm going to mount the wires inside the foam board like I did right here on the, on the aileron. Uh, servos and it's gonna go up into the camera and let's check center of gravity with all the gear that's gonna be in it I don't feel like uh, I need to get this hole in here I'm gonna put a hole on the side here like I did with my speed controller for this this stuff but let's check the CG center of gravity is Perfect, right where it needs to be at. It's awesome. And with that camera in the back, oh, this thing's gonna fly great. It's not even that heavy. It's lighter than the FT Mustang. I mean, with all that gear on there, I'm just barely gonna hold this and show you now my C clamp is it on this motor oh see That's not me moving it, that's the motor. So it should have unlimited lift straight up and down. If not unlimited, damn near close, like 90% unlimited vertical. And it's gonna be awesome. So once I get my C clamp for this, I will take it up for a test flight. And then once I do the test flight, then I'm gonna put the FPV gear on there.